Canal fever and the growth of railroads led to the development of many industries. Because of this, Ogdensburg was the perfect location for a business at that time. It was located on the St. Lawrence River, which gave access to markets in the west, and was at the terminus of the Northern Railroad. It was this location that led to the opening of Hart Pottery in Ogdensburg. The Hart family made salt-glazed stoneware that was used for food storage. It was the Tupperware of its time. The Hart family located their kilns near plentiful sources of salt, firewood, and clay. Hart Pottery began in Fulton, New York in 1832, when brothers James and Samuel Hart built a kiln, which took advantage of the ease of getting New Jersey clay using the Erie Canal. James Hart sold his interest in the company in 1840, moving to Sherburne, New York. Samuel Hart had a successful business in Fulton until his retirement in 1878. Sons Charles and Elwyn Hart took over the pottery until it closed in 1895. The construction of another canal led to the construction of another pottery by James Hart. This site allowed Hart to get Amboy clay, which was a favorite material to make pottery. New Jersey clay was shipped up the Hudson River to the Erie Canal, then to the Shenango and Fulton Canals. Lake Ontario and the St. Lawrence River were used to ship clay to Ogdensburg and Picton, Ontario. William Hart, son of Samuel, was sent to Picton, Ontario to establish a kiln in 1849. Another son, Charles Hart, established a third pottery in Ogdensburg in 1850 with partner Albert Lobdell, which was located in the block now bordered by Morris, Montgomery, Elizabeth, and Lafayette Streets. At its peak, Charles Hart's kiln produced $7,000 of products and employed six men and was the most productive of the Hart potteries. Even though it was profitable, Albert Lobdell sold his rights to the business and left Ogdensburg in 1853. In 1855, William Hart sold his interest in Picton and moved to Ogdensburg. Charles Hart returned to Sherburne in 1858, leaving William to operate the business. In 1860, William and Elizabeth Hart sold part of their interest in the business to Hiram and Caroline Davis. Hart repurchased the pottery in 1861. Joseph Hart, son of James, moved to Ogdensburg to help operate the pottery until William Hart's death in 1869. By 1869, business had gotten worse. Joseph Hart employed only one employee in 1865, then operated the kiln alone until 1873, when he briefly took on a partner, George N. Green. The pottery was destroyed by fire in 1874 and did not reopen until 1877. Under the ownership of James Frederick Hart and Frank S. Hart, the pottery continued to operate until it finally closed in 1879. After the Ogdensburg site closed, the other locations continued to produce pottery, but eventually the mass production of tin and glass containers led to the end of handcrafted stoneware.